Hope y'all like the new gym, bro. This is my new home gym. Probably when I get to like the 100th day of my uh, challenge, I'm going to start going off to different gyms and trying different gyms to work out in. But to be honest, I like being here. Like it just, y'all know I like working out by myself. You know, I'm not really into like going into big old commercial gyms. I'm cool, bro. It's just real life. Like, nah, I'm straight. So, really, that's what the vibe is, bro. Definitely got to make sure I'm stretching, though. Somebody told me that stretching provides your muscles more room to grow. Ever since somebody told me that, I ain't stopped stretching, bro. I try to stretch whenever I can. But it's definitely something that you got to get used to if you don't do it. And there's a lot of people out here that don't stretch. And that's why a lot of people don't make gains. Including myself. Like, if my gains ever slowed down, that's probably why. That and not eating enough. <clears throat> so I'm really on the same leg workout right now. Uh, the only thing that's changed with my leg workout is the weight and the reps. But I'm on the same leg workout right now. Just trying to build up my strength and strengthen my tendons, uh, you know, for multiple reasons, such as playing in the basketball league this summer. Uh, and I'm actually trying to squat 405. And the things I'm doing right now are gonna help me get there. So, yeah. Y'all can adopt my leg workout if y'all want to, but it's up to you, man. Ugh. Show them about how bad you want it, though, my boy. How bad do you want it, my boy? That's what it's all about. How bad you want it? Nothing more, nothing less. I'm finna do some jump squats, man, with the resistance bands on me. That's my starter. You gonna hit the leg press. Let's get it. You can do that with dumbbells. You can do that with dumbbells. You can do that with free weight, you know, you're just your body weight. And you can do it on a box, anything. It's really all about the intensity, bro. Sometimes we use a, a thicker band, we go lower reps. This time we use the skinnier band and we went high reps, really high reps and bro, my glutes on fire. I can't even walk, bro. I need to go eat some cereal real quick before I deadlift, bro. I'm gonna be back over there. I'm gonna deadlift, but I gotta eat, bro. I gotta, I gotta eat some cereal for me after that one, bro. That just took me. Oh, my. I'm pretty heavy right now. We're going five sets of 10. 
uh, moderately heavy, you know, not kill myself heavy, but heavy. Start with four plates. See how my butt will slide up. I don't know if it's a long leg thing or what, but when, my, when, my, when I'm like this, I'm not getting the gains. So I gotta have my back against this and butt on the seat, man. I'm trying to challenge myself and I'm trying to get better, bro. I'm trying to get stronger. You know what I'm saying? I got this one year challenge I'm doing, bro. I'm not taking no days off, right? I'm trying to look way different when December comes, bro. It's it's April right now. You know, I've been working on my diet, man. Uh, but December doesn't even mark a year, though. But that's gonna be like, we gonna be ending for about eight, eight months, it looks like. I think so, I don't remember. But when that year hit, I'm trying to look way different, so. I definitely be in here taking it to the edge, man. You got a trainer, you get results because your trainer going to push you to the goddamn limit. You know, and if you're your own trainer, it takes a whole lot of integrity. And this year, that's what I'm focusing on, integrity, bro. You know, walk it like you talk it, bro. You posting content every day. You preaching to these people how you want to make gains, how they should make gains. You got to walk it how you talk it. So I put the quarters on, bro. So we got five plates and a 25 on. We finna do our last set there. And if I'm feeling good, I might do another one, but I only got five sets on my list, so I definitely don't want to overtrain. But hey, bro, it's really about pushing yourself, so let's get it. <sighs> we strength, Lord. <sighs> So right now, I'm about to do a workout that's actually helped me. It's new to me. I've never been a leg curling type of guy. I've always been extensions. I never, one thing about legs, bro, I've never been too, uh, I've never been too experienced. I've never been too, you know, knowledgeable about everything I needed to be doing for my legs. So it's like, it's all new to me, kind of. And that's on me, like, you know, going all gas, no brakes without taking the time to make sure I was doing everything. I need to do to improve for real. So basically I was running 100 miles per hour blindfolded on. But like I said, I got legs coach now. So he got me doing leg curls. Uh, it's really made my legs stronger. This is a lion leg curl machine where I lay on my stomach and I curl up. Like, I'm gonna show you. I'm doing. Even though we going heavy, I still want a full rep, so I went down 10 pounds. So now we got a 45, a 25, and a 10. If this too heavy, we're gonna take the 10 off. But I think I think this is gonna be okay. Let's try it. 
5 sets of 6. Push yourself. Now, basically, we still on hamstrings. I'm just isolating my legs, you feel me? So we're going to do a leg curl. This is also a machine that, you feel me, if you can't find one, you'll have to do an alternative. This machine right here. Uh, it's all good though. There's a lot of alternatives to work your muscles, bro. Yeah, you can work every muscle a whole lot of different ways. So don't ever think because you see me doing something and you don't have access to that equipment that you cannot work the same muscle I'm working. It's all about how creative you are, how bad you want it, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do some stiff leg deadlifting. Some people call it Romanian deadlift. I don't know if the two names differ, but I know they're very similar. So basically, you just like going up and down, slight bend in your legs, not too much, but basically your legs are stiff. Uh, this is a, another hamstring workout, but it's also you can call it compound because. And I'm holding up this heavy weight, my shoulders, traps engaged, everything is engaged up top, bro. Calves, everything's engaged. Everything is engaged. So I like this one. I really like this one. I try to really, really kill it when I do this. So uh, I got five sets of five here. So we're going heavy as hell. Uh, definitely it was a strength workout. I definitely feel it. Definitely gonna have to eat some good food, man. But let's do five sets of five. Regular deadlifting, make your body strong. Power cleans, make your body strong. You know? <coughs> yeah. Before I do my pull-ups, uh, and then I want to do 
a little bit of core. So, we didn't work upper body today, but I'm still taking my shirt off because I've been working hard. So I think I probably still look good. Shirtless type shit, so let's get into it. Some pull-ups, some abs, let's go. Man, having long arms, bro. <sighs> it make pull-ups hard, man. But I still try to get them in. You know, pull-ups ain't hard when you got short arms, man. Yo, you compact. It don't take you that much to get up there. Well, look how long my damn arm is, bro. Pull-ups will never be something I could, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna take a long time for me to be able to knock out 20 pull-ups. Like, without rocking my body. Yeah, of course, if I got up there doing this, That's good work. That coat. That coat. That coat. That coat. How to get that coat? Got some chicken tenderloins. About to put them in an the air fryer, bro. It's simple. It's easy. If you want to do it, you do it. If you don't want no games, you won't do it. So I'm just going to take my chicken tenderloins, man. Feel me? And throw them in my air fryer, bro. I just air fried some chicken last night, so. You know what I'm saying? Don't judge me, bro. I'm only human. I'm just a boy. Look. That's what the girls be saying these days, man. I'm just a girl. Yep. So we're gonna take the loins, put them in there, and guess what I got? I got me a big bowl of rice that I'm gonna eat with it. And that's how I'm gonna do my post-workout celebration. <laughs> Chicken and rice. Oh, that's, that's, that's what we eat right there. Mm, look at the plate. Look at the... Look at the bowl. Look at the bowl. We got we got some chicken tenders. I seasoned them with salt and pepper. Now I, I would have went a little crazier, but I'm not gonna lie, when you season chicken with just salt and pepper, it's a it's it's a taste that I really I really appreciate. Like it's like it's it's simple, but it's impactful. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. It, right there, it's like, it's just salt and pepper. Um, with the texture of the chicken, it makes it so good. Like, I, I could go garlic and onion and paprika, cayenne pepper. And, but that takes away from the flavor of the white meat. So when I just do salt and pepper, fire. I was talking about my rice. My rice. Butter, sugar. Now, when it come down to dieting, man, 
I got to go hard. And I got to make sure I'm up on my cards. If I'm not, I will lose or I will stay the same. I don't really need to track. <laughs> I don't really need to track my protein, but if I was gonna start tracking macros, it would definitely be carbs because that's what I need. You know, when your body go through food fast, it burn through food fast. Yo, it's because it's breaking down everything you eating quick. So that means if you're not refilling it, every time it's, it's, it needs more, it's going to find something else. Like, oh, it's some muscle right here. Hey, we could just use this, man. Here, we just use this. Now you're losing muscle because you didn't put no more carbs in your body. That's why I, I got to go harder on the carbs, man. I want to put on a cool five pounds on muscle. You know, protein, I don't really got a problem with that. You got shakes, chicken, steak, tacos, you know, ground beef, you know, stuff like that. But everybody struggle is different. If you big, I might have to chill with all that. Mm -hmm. Put the food, <coughs> push the food away. Maybe just pick up some of this and some chicken. Eat that. Say no to the carbs. And that way, your body gonna need something for energy. No carbs. Uh -huh. I guess we're gonna use this fat. And if you replenish in the protein, it's not gonna be able to, your body won't be able to be in like a a state where it needs protein because you put protein in your body. Now, if you're not putting no fats or carbs in your body, it's like, okay, protein keep coming in. The fats, no more fat is coming in, but it's so much of it, it's like, hmm, let's just use this fat. Now your body using that fat for energy. Now you're losing weight. And you will build muscle if you keep on eating protein. Carbs don't build muscle. Carbs provide energy for your muscles to grow. Carbs provide energy for your muscles to function. So, that's my spiel, man. If you want to do it, you're going to do it. If you're rocking with me, drop a plat plat in the comments, man. I'm gone, bro. I'll see y'all.